Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for waking up with me today. I typically start off my mornings between 4.45 and 5.15 a.m. every day and this is for one of two reasons. The first is that my baby TJ, who's four months old, if you're new here, seems to wake up around that time to eat, which I didn't film here, but he does have a bottle around that time and then right after then I go ahead and start pumping and the second reason why I wake up this early is because the time between me waking up and them waking up for the day means that I get a little bit of me time and while I'm doing my morning pump I like to go ahead and open up my Bible app. I joined this group on Instagram where a bunch of us moms got together and decided that we wanted to hold each other accountable to read through the Bible this year. So I just go ahead and do my daily passage for whatever day we're on. And on this particular day, we were in the story of Job. So I went ahead and read that. And I really like starting my day off this way because if I start my day off with the Lord, I tend to feel a lot better. And I know that I'm working on my spirituality, which is a huge goal of my for 2020 and then after I'm done pumping and reading I head downstairs and I get my Beachbody performance drink and I get to chug in my go-go juice because this is what I need to amp up for my workout and if you're not new to my channel then you already know that I love this stuff so much it is by Beachbody if y'all have any questions about it I mean definitely hit me up but it is the best the best pre-workout that I have ever got Right now I'm working on my running abilities, so I head outside this morning to get a run in on my treadmill, and I love starting off the day with a workout, so I always try and work some sort of physical activity into my morning routine. This kind of goes along with my spiritual. If I get my body right and my physical right, then I am just feeling really good for the day. I get those endorphins pumping, and it just really sets me off for a great day and puts me in a really good headspace and good mood overall. Usually by the time I finish my workout, I still have enough time to hop in the shower and get myself ready before my kids wake up. And again, my favorite part of the day is just getting a nice hot shower in uninterrupted with no kids crying. It is the best y'all. Then I go ahead and take my vitamins for the day and I do take a ton of vitamins, not gonna lie here. Um, but if you're not new to this channel, then you know that I did everything I could to try and get my breast milk supply up and now I'm just left with taking a ton of vitamins. And then I like to check the monitor and just see, make sure that the kids are still sleeping. Usually, Novali has already woken up, but for some reason she hasn't this morning. I'm just checking her hatch because it's set to wake her up in about 10 minutes and she never sleeps in until the hatch turns green so i'm pretty surprised but i am happy that we have gone this long and again i'm using the hatch to rise monitor and i absolutely love it so if you guys have a toddler who doesn't sleep that well definitely definitely check that out because i love the color changing features on there so I'm just gonna go ahead and get myself ready because I have a few extra minutes to go ahead and throw on my eyebrows and my eyelashes and I definitely make my bed. I try to make my bed every day because again, I just feel like it's less tempting to hop back in a bed if it's made. So by the time my husband leaves for the day on a day that he is working and I'm at home, I like to make the bed after he leaves and when he's here, we sometimes make the bed together so that's nice. And then I like to check my planner and just make sure that I've got nothing going on for the day or you know what I have planned for that specific day and just make sure that I'm on track. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs because the kids are still sleeping and I'm just gonna go ahead and get some light cleaning done. Who else loves essential oils? Is it just me? Please tell me it's not just me. I love starting my day off with essential oils in the house. I feel like it just reals, it brings a real uplifting spirit to the room and I just love starting my day like this. These oils are from Plant Therapy and I love them so much. I will have the link to the set that I use listed down below. And while the kids are still sleeping, I'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage of this and empty out the dishwasher and just get some last minute cleaning items done so we're all prepared for when Novalee wakes up. 
and on this specific day I decided to go ahead and just wake her up because we had places to go and things to do and homegirl was still sleeping so late it was probably 8 30 by this time and she was being really sleepy so I went ahead and woke her up and usually when we get up the first thing we do is we go potty we head to the bathroom brush our teeth do our hair do all the fun stuff get dressed and wait for baby brother to wake up usually he sleeps while we're doing this so that's pretty good I have one-on-one -on -one time with her to get her ready and kind of just chat with her and see how she's feeling some days she's in a better mood than other days and some days she's a little sassy pants so this is just how we get ready. So after we're all dressed, we'll head downstairs and have breakfast. And while I'm getting Novali's breakfast ready, she'll usually do some sort of activity at the table, whether it is playing on her iPad, today it's coloring, and she'll do that while I get her breakfast ready. And this girl is a creature of habit. She typically just has like a waffle or some toast with peanut butter and some sort of fruit. We'll see how much of this she actually eats because literally sometimes she just licks the peanut butter off of things, but she's been doing pretty good and then I'll head upstairs and wake up baby brother. Normally he's awake at this time, but he slept in super late this day. I guess the kids knew that I wanted to film this on today, so they just wanted to sleep extra long, so I ended up having to wake them up, but look at his cute little face. He is so happy in the mornings, and I am still loving our love to dream swaddle that we were gifted from them, and we just love it so much, and this helps keep him nice and secure and cozy all night long. So I will just get him up and get him ready for the day and, and love on him. And he is so sweet and cuddly in the morning and just so happy. I just love it so, so much. Look at that smile. So both of the kids have their own morning routine and products that they use. And if you guys want me to talk about that in another video, I will. But I didn't show the products, so I'm just gonna show you guys what we do for his head, which I only use raw coconut oil on his head and on his face. Everywhere else we use just the regular baby lotion, but he has a little bit of cradle cap on his head still, so I find that the raw virgin coconut oil really helps his skin. So once baby brother's all dressed, I take him downstairs and place him in some sort of activity gym for him to play with a little bit while I get Nova all cleaned up from breakfast. And from here, she gets a little bit of iPad time. I am not one of those moms that's against screen time, y'all. I do try and monitor it, and this is the Khan Academy Kids app. It's free, and it is a nice learning app. Y'all should definitely check it out if you let your kids play with their tablets or iPads. Right before I was gonna sit down and eat breakfast, TJ started crying a little bit, so I went ahead and made him a bottle and fed him and just sat there on the couch with Novali for a little bit. And then eventually I went ahead and got myself situated with a breakfast burrito. And sometimes I do intermittent fasting, but on this day we had music class, so I definitely wanted to make sure that I got some food in. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up after breakfast. And I like to listen to something inspirational today. I'm listening to my girl Keisha Bass from Purpose Penthouse TV, and I'll definitely have her information linked below. Listen to her, y'all. I wanted to go and spend more money on on going out to eat and dinners and all these different things right and you're unwilling to to spend that amount right if not more in you becoming someone better shut the business down and just work for someone who's willing to make the investments okay i really love incorporating some sort of motivational or inspiring content into my morning routine. This kind of goes along with the theme of just setting my day out with good intentions and putting my head in the right headspace. So from here, I just go ahead and get the diaper bag packed and I always make sure that I have a ton of snacks because my daughter's always hungry. And again, like I said, we're going to music class today. 
So this is how we're going to end off our morning routine for you guys. And just want to let you know, this is not the typical morning. Some days are way more of a hot mess than other days. And some days things just kind of flow smoothly. And of course, three days a week now I am working. So this is a day when I don't have work. So it's a little bit more lax. But I hope that you guys got some good ideas for young kids. And if you did, please make sure that you leave a comment down below on what one of your must-have morning routines include. Or if you're somebody who just doesn't believe in morning routines at all, please let me know because I love hearing other perspectives on things. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you're new here. And if you're not new, thanks so much for checking out today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.